what is up guys and today once again we are going to be spectating random players in fortnite zero build as always if you guys do find this video helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below what you think of the items added in the most recent update this week we got the enforcer ar which personally i don't think is very good but we also got the flowberry fizz which i actually think is you know one of if not the best healing item in the game especially if you play team game modes because you can heal all your teammates with it but even in solos it is a really solid healing item especially if you want to go for the medallions because one of the ways they nerfed the medallions a few weeks ago is that they don't heal you to max anymore and that kind of makes them like inconvenient at times because it's like you get to 60 or 70 and then it's like do i want to waste a big pot at this point for only 30 or what uh, but with the Fizz, you can just use what you need and then save the rest for later. It's not, like, consumed once you use it a little bit. So it's really nice for, like, topping off in situations like that, especially with the uh, the medallions not getting you to max. I think it's quite good. And it just gives you the Flowberry effect, which is nice to have kind of have that on command. Kind of like a, a multi-use, like, pretty versatile item in addition to just being a good amount of shield as well. So I, I think the Flowberry Fizz is quite good. Nice. We're gonna be on board with the sniper here with the burst sub. They beamed me, so hopefully they can keep doing that. The burst sub is actually really underrated right now. Uh, like it's not the best item by any means. Dude, this happens so much when I make these videos. People trade. Trading is just out of hand now. I guess we can watch Yud. They landed at Rebels Roost. One of the nice things about this POI is that it has the uh. And it has a supply specialist NPC, which you can hire that will give you shockwaves if you hold shockwaves out. They also do sell a grapple blade. It's a bit expensive. It's like 400 gold. But if you like using the grapple blade, if you prefer it to shockwaves, uh, this is a good spot to land. Regardless, like you can either get the NPC or you can just buy the grapple blade, depending on which mobility item you prefer or both. Uh, and then you have a decent like pass to third party lavish layer which I think probably has the best mythic for zero build, the mythic auto shotgun is great and you can loot rebels roost pretty quickly and lavish usually takes a decent amount of time to play out unfortunately this player here uh exists and so pickle rick 2012 or 2102 gets to eliminate that uh huge guy that we were just spectating and that's one of the really unfortunate aspects of this season uh that timing was kind of awkward but the auto shotgun is just so good that if you're using a pump you have to be like pretty perfect like that was obviously an ideal fight for the auto shotgun they're just both kind of like standing out in the open no big deal uh but like he, they miss one pump shot it's game over uh, unfortunately and that's kind of one of the not great things about this season i'm hoping that we get like a nerf to the auto shotgun or some sort of rebalance to the shotguns in the near future so i think fortnite plays best when the pump is meta So I don't know if the... Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if the map is bugged because it was showing the gold circle and the medallion on the ground, but now the medallion isn't being shown. Somebody has eliminated the boss and have picked up the medallion here. Uh, and I would assume they're going to go for this. I'm happy that they are. The player here just picked up EMP grenades. I heard them. If I was here, I would have gone to, like, kind of gatekeep the vault. So, like, the person who got the medallion is likely going to go for the vault. Not only do they have the medallion, they can get the loot in there. But they can also, uh, you know, customize their weapons. So, if I was this player pulling up to this POI and I see that the medallion is already on the ground or been taken, I would just want to go to the vault and try to stop that person from getting in or leaving the vault. At least getting eyes on the vault because that's likely where they're there to go. If you just like walk into the house, you don't really know exactly where they are. It gets kind of rough. If I got here and the boss wasn't eliminated yet, I would want to just like get eyes on the boss and, and see like what's going on there. Maybe get ready to third party anybody fighting around the boss. This should, uh, dang, I thought the person we were spectating was going to win it. In a recent video I made talking about close range fights, I said I talked about how you don't want to just like have 50 50s with the auto shotgun like that. And that's what I was talking about. Neither player, like, did anything to start that fight like neither had opening tags neither of them really had like a good position they were both just kind of out in the open trading shotgun shots you could argue this bush had a better one but like that was a really just 50 50 fight and a lot of people just like play to make those happen with the auto shotgun and it's not good for you at all because you see this player here they had the mythic one they still only come away with from that fight with two hp like that fight could have easily gone either way 
Uh, and if this person that's grapple blading around outside the POI decided to push the tree, they would have been a free kill. So, like, avoiding those 50-50s is huge this season. Uh, sometimes it'll happen, but I think if the player that we were spectating initially uh, had just gone to, like, get eyes on the vault initially, that awkward timing wouldn't have been there. But that's just kind of the way it goes. That, that was kind of more on the tree, I think. And see, now if this person pushes, they already got that opening AR damage. Unfortunately, they seemingly don't have mobility, so they can't, they don't, they can't, like, push in a way that, like, the tree can't say anything about it. There's also another player on the tree to the, to the backside over here, I think. I heard somebody. This med kit is going to be huge for them. So unfortunately, they get killed. Now we're on board with Goofy. I did not realize they got up there. That was a good play. I think that was the player whose footsteps I heard. They're not going to go for the auto shotgun. That is bizarre. They have no shotgun at all. Maybe they're baiting it? But no shotgun at all is questionable. Like, you can make it work sometimes, but it, it's not how I would prefer to play. It's also possible this player just, like, kind of panicked and didn't want to be standing on the loot. There is more shotguns around here for him, but... I mean, he's more concerned about not getting third partied. The legendary chest there. Fighting, you want to go grapple blade and third party that. I think he's just going to go for the loot though, which is understandable. That it's like weird spectating people with the grapple blade. They like teleport around. I'm interested to see if this person is just like choosing to not take a shotgun or if it was like a timing thing. If they wanted to get a shotgun here, checking the vault would be the play. They might just be camping the vault, though. I'm invested, bro. I need to see if this guy gets the auto... It takes a shotgun. I've talked about this in several videos, but, like, a lot of things in Fortnite, just because something can work, doesn't always mean it's the ideal thing to do. Like, you can definitely win games without a shotgun if you play right, but it's just, like, you're kind of limited on certain things, and there's going to be fights where you just lose to somebody using an auto shotgun. So, like, I would highly recommend taking a shotgun. And that's what I was saying. Like, you can win without one. I'm sure there's going to be somebody in the comments that says they never use shotguns, and they get lots of wins. So it's just, like, probably not going to be the ideal for most people. The shotgun user in this fight can just put out so much more pressure than him. Like, if that person wanted to just shockwave on him right now and use the auto shotgun, then this elite agent is going to have a hard time dealing with that. No, this fight should be winnable for them, though. They hit a body shot snipe. That guy's using the Flowberry Fizz. Now there's somebody else coming behind him. And with no shotgun, I feel like he has to play, like, more cautious for, like, medium to long range like this. And not necessarily to make close range fights happen. But it's like hard to close kills sometimes without, you know, making, the, getting in close range fights. And then you're just going to be getting third partied more and more because you're taking longer to fight. And with how prevalent snipers are this season, almost anybody can third party you from any angle at any time. You know, it, it's rough. You got to be careful at all times. I'm tempted to like sp stop spectating this player. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of how they're playing. They should go for this car. And I think they get it. Like, that guy's probably not going to kill them with the AR from that range. Like, they get some damage, but... Yeah, if I was them, just get the car and get out of there. I think pushing that... Uh, I don't know the name of that skin. It's an anime character that he sniped. Pushing that kill there, I think, would have been the ideal thing to do. But, again, no shotgun makes it weird. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I'm going to switch off this player because they're just going to be driving around on the edge of the map and I'm not really sure if anything is going to happen to them for a while. Be on board with Sizzle Dragon. They just got a kill. GG's. They got the Jinx skin. The Pac-Man back bling. I like their combo. And they have the Mythic Nemesis AR. So this is like a more of like a setup that I would type of run as far as weapons go. I would definitely... There you go. I was going to say, I'll definitely take the Flowberry Fizz there over the uh, minis. But they have... Auto shotgun, they have an AR. I prefer the striker AR to the nemesis, but like, this is fine. They have a sniper, and then they have heals and shockwaves as well. 
this is great there's cars that spawn over there you can see it and then also to his right there's like a car dealership building which spawns several suvs i think at this point in the game they definitely want to go for that uh mainly because of the snipers like just the less often you're walking around out in the open the better i think because of how good snipers are also just like this map is rough to traverse without a car at times and you can also use it in close range fights so I talked earlier with that tree about how many people just try to make 50-50s happen with the auto. And like sometimes even if you don't want that 50-50 to happen, it's going to happen if they just like jump on you, you know? But if you're fighting around your car with the auto shotgun, you can kind of like get in and out of the car and juggle it. I talked about this in the close range fighting video I recently posted. Uh, and that has been kind of my go-to move to deal with the people that are just forcing those 50-50s to happen this season. If I'm fighting someone that I feel like is really trying to just force a 50-50, with the auto shotgun, I'll try to use that as much as possible. And it's definitely helped me this season because, like I said, at times there's not much you can do about it. If somebody jumps on you with an auto shotgun, that, that's a fight that's happening, you know? They did get a bounty on the person that uh, we were spectating earlier, that elite agent that wasn't using a shotgun. Seems like they're looking for the medallion player that's over here. And this player chose to go for the grapple blade instead of the shockwaves. I prefer shockwaves, but like I don't think that's the end of the world. Especially if they're not going to use cars, the grapple blade probably would be better. Because, like I said, getting around this map is rough. And it was only three shockwaves. Myself in that situation, I, I would still just take three shockwaves. But I, I like the shockwaves a lot more for making plays. And I do play like pretty aggressive most of the time. So that is my preference. I'm not sure if this player has medallions or not. I thought they did when they were in Railway, but that circle didn't update with them. But if they have medallions, I think you want the car even more because a lot of players are going to be like looking out for you at all times. And again, sniping is brutal this season. What's going on? They're behind that rock. Nice. Just an easy kill. Snipe. Auto shotgun. GG's. That player probably would have been weaker if they pushed with shockwaves instead of the grapple blade, but it is what it is. Or the grapple blade in the car. I would want to get that car back if I was them. I think they do. They, I mean, they definitely have the medallion they just picked up, but I think they have like three at this point. And so, like, you see the size of their circle. A lot of people are going to know where they are. And, and so you might as well be in the car anyways. Like, some people don't like the cars because it advertises your location. But their location is already advertised. So, just go with that. Um, but that was fine. And, and like, I've seen people kind of confused on what a 50-50 is sometimes. Because they did just jump on that Chun-Li with the auto shotgun. But the difference between that is that they hit the snipe first. And that Chun-Li might have healed a little bit from the snipe. But they at least had some early damage to start that fight. Whereas, like, the fight we had uh, spectated earlier at Lavish, it was just two players that were full HP, no cover at all. There's also cover involved in that fight because of the rock. Uh, this Jinx just had an HP advantage. They had, like, a pressure advantage somewhat. And then there also was cover and things of that nature involved. So that wasn't... was a 50-50, but it wasn't, like, really a 50-50. Like, when I say 50-50, I mean just people, like, standing out in the open, trading auto shotgun shots, oftentimes barrel stuffing each other like we saw at Lavish. Those fights are just really random. There was a player on that hill, I thought. But maybe I'm crazy. I thought I saw somebody, like, back into his left. One thing you have to worry about if you have the medallions is other medallion players pushing you. Like, everyone's gonna push you, but, like, you need to be mindful of the other medallion players as well because you see this big circle over here getting closer to him. People taking the medallions are probably going to be looking for more medallions to carry. So I would have wanted to hold that person in zone, but also Storm is probably hitting for one at this point. It's not the biggest deal. This is not a good fight, Cleave. This is going to be a fight that goes nowhere because even if he... Unless somebody headshot snipes. But this is like a 50-50 with snipers. Just both of them standing out in the open hoping to hit a headshot. He hit the body there, but he's not going to do anything with that body shot. By the time he gets to that player, they're already going to be healed. Like, these are the worst fights this season, I think. It's just... 
And I do it too. Like sometimes you get like too attached to trying to snipe somebody, you know? But like, that was not good at all. And again, they have three medallions. So there's going to be people that know where they are. There could be anybody on the other side of this bridge. Just because these people over here aren't paying attention to them right now doesn't mean there's somebody coming behind them or there couldn't be somebody coming behind them. And that is definitely something you want to keep in mind. He's getting AR'd here. It's not that big of a deal with the projectile stuff or with the weapons being projectiles. Like that's not going to be a fight that goes anywhere in the same way that him hitting those body shot snipes aren't going to go anywhere. Also, the spectator is like bugged with sniping or like replay mode is as well. It doesn't like show you what scope they have, but it looks like he has a 4x on his sniper like you see at the bottom right. So it's not like he's just hitting all those shots with the iron sight sniper. There may be somebody up on this hill. Yeah, there's a medallion circle. That's going to be a hard fight for him to push. If I was him, or an NPC in front of him. If I was him, I would just try to go like somewhere else. Because like even if he snipes that guy on that hill, unless he just headshot snipes him, it's going to be a fight that just goes nowhere. It's way easier for that guy on the hill to push down if they want to than it is for this Jinx to push up. It looks like there might be that other player coming from there. I don't know where I would want to be on this zone though. Maybe right here is fine. It would be different if you had forecast and you could see. This hill would be great if forecast gets it. But I think where the player that we're spectating in right now is in a really bad spot unless they get zone. But even if they get zone, that hill probably has zone as well. And then that hill will be the better spot to be. And it's easier for that player on the hill to leave than it is the person that we're spectating. Because the person on the hill has a pad. And then also if you're like shockwaving off of that. Uh, it's rough. I think they die here. I don't even see what happened. But I think they just got like SMG'd by somebody. And then like, again, just the pressure is in that other player's favor. That player on the hill is still there. So they may snipe the person that's chasing him. He swapped seats to use the Flowberry Fizz. Okay, so that hill got zoned. I think you want to try to drive up on that hill if you can. I would try to drive up on that hill and look for snipes on them as I'm driving peak from like the like drive up the car stop it and then peek from like the back right of the car and then try to hit a snipe and then push off that and you could kind of just like not go for the hill but it's the better spot to be right now he's gonna play this passive and just sit in the passenger seat of the car Alrighty then and again it's different if he has forecast if they have forecast and they know that like next zone is over here then like maybe it's not as important to play for this hill but like I already touched on, it's much easier for this person on hill to like leave than it is to like get it. So if you get the hill, like you have a decent chance of winning the game. This is that person we were spectating earlier, I think. The lead agent. Let's see if they have a shotgun yet. This is not great. Nice, I hit the shot. This guy's probably just going to leave. Grapple blade to save yourself, please. Just let him leave. Just let him leave, bro. There is a glitch you could do where you like swing a pickaxe as you get in somebody's car and you just keep holding it and then you'll keep pickaxing them. But I think he should have just like let that elite agent be after they got away. And that's a fight where I think shockwaves would have been better for him to push. That elite agent did get shotgunned. I don't know what he's doing. You want to get involved here. It's a 1v1v1. V1. And two players are fighting on that hill. And like I already touched on, that hill is the best spot in zone. So if he third partied that fight a little bit sooner, this game is going well for him. But I, I don't really know what he was doing. Just kind of like hanging out on the bottom of that mountain. That player is healing up there. When you're pushing this, you would want to play the low ground snipes. Like he just like earlier was like just standing out in the open sniping them. But you can use that terrain to like peek and be safer this is a, this this game is over for him i think okay so that player doesn't get the kill there but now they have that hill that hill didn't get zone there's cars up there and a launch pad um and that player buys time to heal and they get access to that loot now so like earlier they didn't really have time to heal when the jinx was pushing up and they didn't really get access to that loot as much while that jinx was pushing up so now they can heal, reload their guns, and they get all that loot. I, I think if that Jinx pushes up a bit sooner, then like that's that could have been a kill for them. But they were like weirdly like not sure if they wanted to like third party it or not at the bottom of that hill. 
And now they both have to rotate, but I think that... I think it was a Spider-Man. I don't know if it's Spider-Man or Morales Morales. I think it was Spider-Man. They have a much easier time rotating because there's several cars up there. There's a launch pad up there. Uh, like, they're chilling. This Jinx does have the grapple blade, which is good. Like, this situation, the grapple blade is going to be better than Shockwaves because they're just, like, traveling around the map and trying to get from point A to point B. Uh, I do think if they were using Shockwaves, though, they would have killed that Elite Agent on the hill before, like, anything really went down. Like, after they hit the snipe, they could have been, like... Getting on that guy right away. Oh, they might win here, actually. Push up. You're not going to get the snipe. Maybe you do. I, I was surprised. I don't expect that Spider-Man to peek there. Okay, this game is, like, weirdly winnable for them now. Like, that Spider-Man is going to get the heal, but, like, that high ground really isn't even that great because, like, the low ground from this angle with a snipe actually is kind of OP. This game will probably come down to a snipe. That Spider-Man's going to heal... If you're that Jinx, you just let him. They're, like, the timing to third party, that is already gone. Like, that Spider-Man healed. If you're pushing this thing in their weak, that's going to cost you. Zone pulled back. And one thing you can do is mark zone like that just to have it visually on your map. Because, like, sometimes I have a hard time telling, like, exactly where it is. When you ping it, you get the marker there, and you can just see exactly where it is. If I was him... Dude, this is, like, such a rough fight. I think they're both going to, like, wait to, like, late rotate. He might be getting chopped out, though. He can take this Flowberry Fizz to get the low gravity effect. But there's, like, no cover up ahead. Okay, that Spider-Man goes. This is, like, perfect. He hits a body shot snipe. Does he hit another one, though? That snipe allows him to push up, though. He's got damage. He's probably not going to get the heal off it. But now that Spider-Man is, like, concerned about that, maybe they have to heal. Okay, this is a mess. They're both just grapple blading around. Use the AR. If he uses the AR there, that's... Uh, they're too attached to the snipe. Like, once he hits the body shot, that's great. Just, like, use the AR. Keep pressure on them. You're chilling. They might still win. We'll see. Use the AR. Thank you. GG's. Imagine right there, they try to snipe, and then they get beamed again. Like, the snipers are great, don't get me wrong, but, like, you gotta know when to put it away. Once he hit the body shot, like, that's everything for him. It's, like, an opening in the fight. He has pressure on that other player. Like, it's his game to lose at that point. All he has to do is, like, not get sniped and deal damage to the person. Going for the snipe is kind of, like, going for the snipe on the second time. Like, hold on, let's just go into replay mode. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. People liked when I, in the past when I went to replay mode on these. Okay, so, right here... He already hit the body shot snipe, and like I was saying, he has, like, so much in his favor right now. Like, he got the pressure in that fight. All he has to do is, like, keep pressure on this person and not throw. And if I was in this situation, I would want to end the game on this zone because getting to the next one is such a struggle that if you can end it, like, right here, that that's good for you. So if he just, like, grapple blades, switch to the AR and beams this person... That's more damage. You prevent... I think this guy had medallions. So you prevent their medallion from healing. You prevent their overshield from regening. Like, that's great for you. You already did the hard part. You hit one snipe. Now you just kind of have to, like, keep pressure on this person and you'll win because of, like, Storm and stuff. So if I was in this fight, I would want to just, like, switch to the AR and, and beam. But what he goes for is a snipe. He doesn't hit it. And then that, like, kind of creates an opportunity for this person to get back in the game. Because... Like, if they hit a snipe here, it's game over. Like, if they hit a headshot snipe, and they do beam him. Instead of getting just, like, 60 or, like, so AR damage, they chose to get no damage in instead. It was, like, an all or nothing with the snipe there, and it didn't need to be because they already had the advantage in their favor. Like, I can understand the Spider-Man going for the snipe in that situation, even though it's not great, but things aren't going well for them anyway. They kind of threw here. And you see the how much AR damage they just took. Like, these ARs are deadly. If that Spider-Man didn't switch to the AR there and just kept going for snipes, it might not have even been close for this person if the Spider-Man, like, didn't hit any of their snipes, you know? So, like, the snipers are good, but, like, knowing when to just, like, put it away is huge. And again, we all, like, do it sometimes. Like I talked about earlier when he was, like, going for snipes that didn't really need to be go for. It's, like, rough to control yourself with the snipers sometimes. Uh, but that would have made that from, like, a clean win there. To like what we saw where like it kind of could have gone either way 
And their AR aim was not bad at all. Like, you see, they just beam them there. Like, if they did that earlier, they don't take any damage. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting. As always, if you did, remember to give it a like. Subscribe if you like some more. And comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new items that were added to the loot pool. I think the Flowberry Fizz is quite good.